AWS and allows us to stay nimble in an industry that traditionally moves very, very slowly and basically allows us to focus on the product, focusing on making the experience better for the customer instead of other less important shit. I'm Tom, I'm an engineer at Simple. Simple is a new kind of bank, one that notably doesn't have fees. Uh, it has great customer service. Uh, customer service so good that people call in just to say hello, which is unheard of. We basically have this radical new idea that your bank can actually help you understand your money. The company is about three years old now, and we're about 200 people or so. Simple was basically birthed in the clouds. Uh, we don't have any physical bank branches. AWS CloudFormation allows us to keep our infrastructure as code, which gives us an enormous amount of benefits. It allows us to represent Simple's infrastructure on our terms, to stay focused on our product process, which really differentiates us from other players. We can focus on the customer more so than handling the infrastructure parts. All we have to do is sort of work on a higher level of, you know, what do we want to build? How do we build it? How are they connected? And then CloudFormation takes care of all the dirty work of like actually, you know, connecting the pipes together. We are able to enforce certain standards in our code, which helps us comply with things like PCI. PCI is basically a set of standards that say, you know, this part of your infrastructure has to be secured from this part. And we can enforce that guarantee through code, through the way we use CloudFormation. People don't have to do that anymore. A computer will do it. And we don't have to waste cycles, basically, having people uh, sign off on certain configurations of the infrastructure. Sometimes we forget how spoiled we are with CloudFormation. Before we were using CloudFormation exclusively, what you would have to do is manually, like, launch an instance, you know, say that it needs the security group, say that it needs this stuff, say that it needs this configuration. And it was just such a mess for us to figure out. During uh, one event where we needed to increase capacity, uh, we needed to bump the number of instances of a service. All we had to do was just change a number in a CloudFormation template and hit go and they just spun up and it was such a non-issue for us. CloudFormation has really helped us improve the experience for the customer because it allows us to react to problems much faster than before, to uh, push out new features quicker or develop new features quicker, where previously it took us you know, months to build something new. And in addition, CloudFormation allows us to roll back parts of the infrastructure, which is also very useful in case we push something and then eventually it leads to a bug, we can quickly roll back. We're way more confident in conducting an infrastructure update today with CloudFormation than we were two years ago and we didn't have it. I don't think we could build the bank that we wanted to without uh, the cloud or AWS. AWS allows us to react and operate on just such a faster scale than otherwise.